Um, Michael Rainey Jr. and I'm playing the character Woody in the movie Love. Well, he's a little kid trying to find a father figure and Uncle Vincent is the father figure and played by Common. I like the story more than anything and um, I met with the director Sheldon Candace and I know he was the first time director but I felt confident that in his vision and his passion and what he wanted to do. So I was like, man, I want to do it. Terrence and this film is one of the most original voices I've seen come through this festival in a long time. It's about love, it's a love story. It's uh, about love and self-awareness. Six kinds of animation, humor, film within a film. It's so smart. It's a thing of beauty. The programmers felt like that it represented something new in terms of form and how movies are made. I make sure that I catch up to the films of color, the ones that I feel really strongly about. I do fight for them. I'm not quite good at it. <laughs> The movie is Middle of Nowhere, directed by uh, the very talented and uh, rising star director Ava DuVernay. You know, it's a complex love story. It's about a woman who lo loses her husband to incarceration, how she maintains the marriage from beyond bars. Working with Ava is like, kind of like the precipice of when Spike was first coming out doing his thing. It's like, it's that same energy. She is a visionary, you know, she is driven. You can't stop her. Well, what appealed me, uh, to me about Middle of Nowhere is I read the script and I understood who these people were. I recognized them. Uh, even though it's set in South Central LA, these are people I could identify with. I wanted to make a film and I just wanted to do something that was honest from the perspective of a rapper. The key to the movie was I wanted to talk to people I had relationships with so it would be a conversation, not an interview. After it screened, and the way that people responded to it, I'm on top of the world right now. I'm so happy about it because I know this is an important film for rap. The great novelist, James McBride and I, got together, so we want to tell the story. The movie's about a minister whose 12 year old son, the grandson comes to stay with him for the first time. I play a, a bishop um, who does have, have issues, but you don't realize it. I was so truly honored because I'm such a Spike Lee fan, and so when he asked me to do it, I was just, you know, I felt so honored. It's like being a part of history. When you have an opportunity to work with an icon like Spike Lee, you do it. No matter what color you are, no matter where you're from, if you're an artist, you appreciate the craft, then you want to work with Spike Lee. On set, it was just really fun, but not overwhelming. We just took our time and ran things over until we got what he wanted to see. Working with Spike is like working with a friend. It's not like it's work work. It's like doing what you're doing and having fun with it. Did you get a chance to hit the slopes while you're out here Sunday? I don't skate. No. He wanted to snowboard. We squashed that. <laughs> squashed. I've been wanting to work with them for 25 years, man. Yeah. I went up to her and introduced myself. I said, I just did this film Red Hook Summer. Do you have any songs? So she just started sending me songs. I've got a lot of up-tempo music, which is not in the film, that is more like the funk driven. And then there's a side of me that's very soul driven, and, and the ballads are more of what's in Red Hook Summer.